Hey guys, so I'm on my way um, to an audition for work. Um, when I'm not uh, personal training, I am a fitness model. Um, and so I'm off to an audition um, that I got. Um, a lot of times what happens is they're not open auditions, you have to submit and then they have to choose people. And so I, you know, you kind of submit and wait and then they say, can you come in at this time? So. Uh, that's what my Friday is going to be like today and then uh, get some things done afterwards, but um, Unfortunately, uh, I have like a noon spot and so I am in uh, bumper to bumper traffic <laughs> on the way there um, But I'll survive. It's all good when you love what you do. You just do it with a smile on your face Even if it means you have to be in heavy traffic <laughs> Hey guys, so I just got home um, from the audition. It went pretty well. Um, felt good about it. Um, but now I think uh, they're shooting or fittings are next week and then shooting the week after like that so or something like that. So um, I won't know for a few days. Um, but anyway, I wanted to also note that the reason that I am like seemingly wearing almost no makeup or looking so fresh faced is because they actually request that you don't wear much makeup at all or or wear natural makeup um essentially meaning make it so that we can see your features really well um and what you actually look like i think there's a big misconception that when you're modeling you're always wearing like a ton of makeup or like a full face you know like all done up and sometimes you know in certain forums like for an editorial or something that's like really artsy and they have a lot of creative direction and things like that um then, you know, in, in certain cases that they're, you know, they do a lot of like hair and makeup, but for like classic fitness modeling, like I do, where it's like, you know, I am working for like, you know, multiple hours at a time, like doing multiple takes of like actually working out. Um, like, I don't know if you guys saw when I posted on my Instagram, the ad that I did for uh, New Balance. Um, but I'm literally just running. It's like a side profile with, with me and my co, um, my co-worker, my co-model that day. And we're just running and we did that. It was like a full day, like, like 12 hours of just like literally running, um, to get different angles of different takes. And so like, you don't need to be in full face makeup because the whole point is to look at like you're doing whatever sport you're doing, like actually doing fitness. <laughs> um, and so I think for that shoot, for example, I had like a tiny bit of mascara, some eyeliner and lip gloss on. And I think they may have done like a tiny bit of foundation, but maybe not a lot because it was the summer when we were shooting. So they don't want it to like melt off your face when you're running around. So seriously, like that's it. Like no eyeshadow, no nothing. Um, and so when I go in, I do like, like a little bit of foundation powder, um, so that I, you can still see my freckles. I don't know if you can see. But anyway, so you can still see my freckles and then, because that's what I look like, <laughs> and then uh, fill in my brows a little bit, um, a little bit of liner, a little bit, because too much makes it look like you're wearing makeup, and then mascara, like done. No bronzer. Uh, oh, no, I, I guess I do a tiny, tiny bit. <laughs> that was like the worst. <laughs> a tiny bit of shadow. But that's just because I have really fair features, and so I'll get like washed out. Um, you don't want to look like you're a child, like a baby. Um, so I do a tiny, tiny bit of that, like way less than I would if I were like going out to dinner or something like that. So just wanted to clear up that misconception that I feel like everyone has about what, you know, what modeling entails.
right, so I hope you uh, enjoyed the workout. I got most of it. Um, I think maybe we missed like two things. But I got a pretty good chunk of my um, back and delt workout with a little little bicep action work uh, worked in there. But I wanted to touch on um, my frozen yogurt that I got post-workout because I get a lot of questions on whether I track um, Froyo and how. Um, first of all, you can track it without needing to bring your own scale in. The whole like pricing system of frozen yogurt in most places is that they weigh it for you and usually unless there's a huge line, if you just say, can I weigh after this ingredient, can you zero it for me again or whatever, um, they don't have a problem doing that. So I've done that in the past when I do need to weigh it, um, like when I was reverse dieting and I needed to be more structured, I would weigh the actual frozen yogurt itself and then zero it and then I would weigh like the topping that I got. However, now that I am intuitive eating a lot more, I am mostly kind of weighing it in my head, if that makes sense. Um, I've been doing it for so long that now I know, you know, how many carbs and fat are in two scoops of the cookie dough topping and you know what six ounces of frozen yogurt looks like in the cup and you know what line it gets to in the cup essentially so currently no I do not track it and I definitely do not bring my scale in with me that's not saying anything against anyone that does that or needs to do that because of prep reasons um, I personally don't think I've ever brought my scale with me anywhere um, if I need to do that sometimes I'll like I said either use their scale or um, I'll portion it in a different way or I just you know if I really had to do that for prep before I would usually just bring food with me but currently with my frozen yogurt intake if I'm doing it um, I generally have educated myself on what's you know in each scoop for example and um, and I'll kind of eyeball it um, just because I generally know what's in it uh, but also, I'm not cutting for anything. I'm mostly just, you know, eating for maintenance. And so as long as I don't fill, like, you know, two full cups worth, I know that, like, as a post-workout once in a while, it's not going to kill me. So there's your uh, frozen yogurt rundown. I know that sometimes it looks, like, really overindulgent and stuff, but just remember I'm not eating this, like, every single day. <laughs> it's like a post-workout maybe once a week or something. I'll do, like, a treat like that. Generally, my post-workout meals are more, like, you know, 35 grams of carb. 25 grams of protein, you know, lower fat, something like that. Um, but, you know, once in a while it's not going to kill you if you're not cutting for anything to have a little froyo, And it uh, feels good to get some sugar in you after a hard <laughs> workout like that. So uh, it was a good treat the other day. Plus it was so nice outside. So kind of felt like warm weather treats were a good idea. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's about it for this video. Um, give it a thumbs up if you like to see uh, workout footage and I can definitely do uh, more of that coming soon. Also, um, subscribe if you haven't already and uh, comment if you have any questions. But otherwise, I will see you next time. Thanks.